Welcome to another video in the overhead cost management playlist. In the video today, I will explain the difference between primary and secondary cost elements and how this changes between SCP ECC and SCP S4 HANA. I have already mentioned many things related to primary and secondary cost elements in the previous videos in this playlist while explaining cost distribution and cost assessment. But in this video, I will summarize everything that I said and I will also add some more details. The concept of primary and secondary cost elements is one of the things that changed a lot between SEP ECC and SEP S4 HANA. Let me start with a summary of the concept and then I will give you an example that will clarify this very well. So the original difference between primary and secondary cost elements in SEP ECC is that primary cost elements are used in financial accounting entries and then these are reflected into the cost management or the controlling area while secondary cost elements are used only for internal cost allocations in the cost management area and are not originating from finance. Also in SAP ECC, whatever we do using secondary cost elements inside the controlling module is not interfaced automatically to financial accounting, but we have to run a reconciliation program to do this reconciliation. This causes a lot of complexity because we can have differences between financial accounting and the controlling. While in SAP is for HANA, both primary and secondary cost elements are treated in the same way. They are completely integrated and the real time update happens whenever we do an internal cost allocation and controlling, it will reflect automatically to financial accounting. Whenever we post anything to financial accounting, it's reflected automatically to controlling and we can use financial accounting reports to report on anything related to secondary or primary cost elements and everything we post goes to the same table, the Universal Journal Akadoka. Now, let me give you the example to clarify what I just said. Before we go into the systems, let's take the business example. We, in our company, we only receive one electricity invoice. And when we receive this invoice, we post the expense to a shared cost center. And then later, we allocate the expense from this cost center to the different cost centers of the different departments based on the space of each department, for example. This is the same example I used in the previous videos to post the cost distribution and the cost assessment. Now, in the first step, we are going to post an accounting entry. The accounting entry is debit to electricity expense on the shared expenses cost center and the credit to our bank account. The, ex the account we use to post the electricity expense is a primary cost element because as you see, it is coming from a financial accounting entry. It is originating from an external accounting entry. So in this case, we have to use a primary cost element and this primary cost element, when we post the accounting entry, will be posted also to our controlling area or to our cost management area. The second step is that we are going to allocate the expenses in the cost management area between the different cost centers of the different departments. And we are going to do this using cost assessment, for example. And here we will be able to see the difference between SCEP ECC and the updates we have in SCEP S4 HANA. So when we do cost assessment, this is an internal cost allocation in the cost management area, which means that we use a secondary cost element because the entry is not originating from an external accounting entry. This is only internal to cost management. So we use a secondary cost element and we have seen this in the demos I did in the last videos. So in SCP ECC, when we do the cost assessment, the entry that happens is only internal in the controlling area and we cannot see it in financial accounting. This is not good at all because after we run the cost assessment, if we run the GL line items report for our cost center, we will only see one line item posted, which is posted from our accounting entry for the invoice. While from the controlling side, if we run a report for the line items posted to the cost center, we will find multiple line items. We will find the line item that came from the invoice, and then we'll find the line items that happened because of the assessment but the assessment lines are not automatically interfaced to financial accounting. In order to reflect the changes we did in controlling to finance in SAP ECC, we have to run a reconciliation program that will do this update and then we'll be able to reconcile both of them. While in SAP is for HANA, primary and secondary cost elements are both considered GL accounts, but with different GL account type. So when we create the GL account, we can choose whether this is a primary cost element or a secondary cost element. And then later, whenever we want to generate any report 
in financial accounting, we can see the entries that are posted by primary cost elements and secondary cost elements. And we can always identify that this is happening because of a primary cost element. So it's coming from an external accounting entry, or this is happening because of a secondary cost element, which is an internal allocation happening in cost management. So we can always see the separation between these two, but at the same time, they are very well reconciled. So in SCEP is for HANA, when we run the cost assessment, we actually have financial accounting entries being posted with the controlling entries immediately a lifetime. So there is no need for reconciliation. I have showed you this in the demos in the last videos, but today I will show you a quick demo again on how the primary and secondary cost elements work in SAP s hana So we are going to create a primary cost element and secondary cost element together so we can see the master data. And then I will post the electricity expense and do the assessment and we can see the reports. The second complexity we have in SAP ECC is that because secondary cost elements are not integrated at all with finance, they have a separate master data object from general ledger accounts. So in order to create a secondary cost element in SAP ECC, we have to go to a separate transaction and create a secondary cost element. And if we generate reports for the master data in the general ledger accounting area, we will not see the secondary cost elements. They are not interfaced at all to general ledger. While in SAP is for HANA, because secondary cost elements are considered general ledger accounts of a special type, they are completely integrated with the general ledger account master data. Both the primary and secondary cost elements are created in the same transaction using the same screens, but we choose different values. And then when we generate reports for general ledger accounts, we can choose to see the primary and secondary cost elements or the secondary cost elements only or the primary cost elements only. So they are very well integrated. What I also love about this update that happened in SAP s hana is that now anything that we post using secondary cost elements is also posted to the Universal Journal Akadoka. So for me, the Universal Journal Akadoka is really a comprehensive table that includes all our accounting entries and all our cost allocations and this makes our life easier a lot to generate different reports related to cost accounting or related to financial accounting. I hope that now you completely understand the difference between primary and secondary cost elements and how the concept changed between SAP ECC and SAP s hana In the next video, I'm going to run a full demo on SAP s hana 2022 for the example that I explained today. So I will show you the primary cost elements, secondary cost elements, and I will also show you a third type of profit and loss accounts which is the non-operating expense or revenue. I will leave you a link to this demo video somewhere here once it's ready, and you can always check the playlist to see all the videos. Don't forget to leave me your comments and questions, and let me know if you want me to add any other topics to the overhead cost management playlist. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video with your connections, and check the channel membership program if you would like to get access to the member exclusive videos, configuration documents, and our private chat group. I will leave you a link to the membership program somewhere here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.